Hello, my wonderful and amazing people. Una welcome back to Ada Universe TV. I greet and salute all of Nawewe. Straight to the news, guys. Our popular Nollywood actress, where they call you Kerian. All of Una know you Kerian. About one month ago or three weeks ago, room no come out, come talk, say, you Kerian and Lucky Okpala, when he be colleague, na popular Nollywood actor as well. Say they won't get married. Say they two love each other. Say you carry and don't finally find love. So some people they happy for you carry and why some people they slap you carry and they're not happy for the matter at all. Because some people come back and, and talk, say you carry and are 56. Some people say not 57. Why some people say you carry and not they go 100. So today, as me on the talk, so you carry and get something to say. She say she won't clear on her doubt and she won't clear the hair. Make it straight to the matter in case. You they go, you get where you they go now, but never come out. Just wait, sit down, listen to what you carry and won't talk. I don't want to waste on time. I want me to watch this video. Make you still follow me, share them. And I beg, make you subscribe. And try, make you press the like button and the notification bell, please, guys. So watch what you carry and can't talk. He said, not the whole two of them more. Say they just they work together. He said, the movie won't we'll watch. Now, movie, you no. Know, won't we'll see Lucky Okbala with her mama and picking. He said, mama and picking the heart. He said, nothing tied two of them. Now, which she can't talk today. Make una watch the video. Make una leave una comment for the comment station. From Ada Universe TV. I go see you again for my next video. Thank you guys and God bless. One love. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. My names are Apostle Dr. Eukarya Amenobi. I want to respond to all the stories that have been flying on the various social media platforms about. Mr. Lucky Opera and myself. Wonders shall never end, and from all indications, woe will never end. I want to say to all my family, loved ones, friends, fans, ministerial associates, the body of Christ, followers all around the world, that these are fabrications and misleading lies from the pit of hell. It is even laughable, more so, how some people in their distorted mind, unfortunately, have given out an age that is not mine. Some say I'm 56, some say I'm 57. Maybe some people will also come out and say I'm 120. Well, I will surely get to those ages and even surpass them and live in good health and prosperity. It's so laughable that some people sit down and cook up and publish unverified stories. True, Mr. Lucky Opera is known to me. He is, I state categorically, my movie industry mentee we met on the set of a movie production where i played the role of a mother to him and um he got enamored so enamored with my acting prowess that he then continued to seek my mentorship and coaching that he would want someone to guide him and to always correct him and surely i took on the responsibility and I have been doing that. You all know what happens when you're in a movie production and even for those outside, what people do with their phones these days. And a lot of people always make videos, take pictures of themselves, friends, family, loved ones, important people, famous people, all the time with their devices and um, they all post them. I myself is no exception on their social media platforms as content. And in the course of while we were working, Lucky took pictures with me, made some short videos of me, which obviously he posted on his social media platforms and which is what the enemies, enemies of themselves not me gathered together and put up as evidences to substantiate 
their false stories. You all can bear witness that since the inception of social media, everyone is videoing whatever and anything that they see to post on their platforms as content. Are we now saying that people should not allow persons who admire them, admire their works, admire their persons, not to video them, not to take pictures with them? You begin to wonder at the mindset of these mischief makers. You begin to wonder, are they blind to the new system? Are they blind to the new normal of creating content on social media? That being said, I want to state categorically, without fear or favor, that I am not in any romantic relationship with Mr. Lucky Opera. Neither is there any wedding undergoing planning. And it is an insult upon the unction of God on my life by these mischief makers, these demons from the pit of hell, these people that lack joy to say that I am pregnant before marriage as an apostle everyone who listen to me and who know about my ministry know that I vehemently preach against such and I always go on to ensure that I add my quota in the lives of anyone that comes in contact with me. I encourage them to live right. And that is the bane of my ministry. And unfortunately, no one can change that. So everything you have read or heard about Lucky and I are all fabrications from the pit of hell, fabrications and misleading lies from enemies of the gospel of truth, the gospel of Jesus, out to tarnish my good public image. Unfortunately for them, what they had planned for evil has turned out for good. Yes, what they plotted for evil, what they planned for evil had become a blessing in disguise and um, have made me even more popular than I have been both globally and of course locally and uh, a bigger threat to the kingdom of the devil at least in this short period I've received a thousand calls from so many people all around the world international bodies foreign friends people living abroad you know, fathers of faith, mothers of faith, loving colleagues who have called to check on me, friends and strangers who have called me, stopped by, ask who stopped, even see me on the road in traffic, asking, my goodness, what's going on? Are you okay? Why didn't you invite us for the wedding? So you see, the devil will always be a loser, and so are his cohorts. So to you cohorts of the devil, perpetrators of evil, I thank you so very much. You have helped to announce me even much more locally and globally. And the name of Apostle Dr. Yukere Anganobi will continually ring a bell, even to the death, and will cause the kingdom of darkness to continually shake and quake with fear when they hear my name. I thank you so very much. To the proprietors of this whole saga that started posting that I sent Mr. Lucky Opera a love message and gave him money on his birthday, a story that you cannot defend in the love court, I have this to say to you all. I need you mischief makers, haters, sons and daughters of the devil to understand one thing. As long as you are not the one that put the unction upon me, Neither are you the one that called me into ministry. 
You cannot destroy the unction of God upon my life, neither can you destroy the ministry in my hands. Hating my glory, hating my being chosen by God, is like someone drinking poison and expecting the person that they hate to die. Because what you hate cannot help you. And your hating only hinders you. Mischief makers will have God Almighty to contend with. Because the law of sowing and reaping will not change as long as the earth remains. One thing is sure. Karma is no respecter of any one. With that, I say thanks to all of you, my friends, family, loved ones, fathers of faith, everyone who have shown me an overwhelming outpouring of love all this while.